Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre-market video for Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, a.k.a. Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, uh, in the previous session, again, we've seen quite a bounce off the previous month's midpoint. Three days of the last five have tested the level outright and prices below it, and each time closing back above it. In the previous session here, quite a bit of strength. Uh, and just before the close falling here, but you see it recouped at the moment. This is a very, very important inflection point for this market at the moment. We have a very clear uh, rectangular range that has developed here over the last several days. And right now we're testing prices above the previous session's high. Uh, so this is an opportunity here to watch for a failed new high, which could lead to a fade after trend day. Uh, with this dropping already here a bit from yesterday's close, it makes this a little bit unique, and instead we're seeing strength here. So if there is an ability to find acceptance above 44.67, the previous session's high, we could see further expansion to the upside, a failure to hold 44.67, and you see a fade back into the trading range below uh, with the middle of the range uh, an easy target for the day the previous sessions midpoint uh, being 4420 so again uh, right now keeping an eye on the previous sessions high of failure there could open up a return back inside the trading range uh, that has developed over the past week taking a look here at the NQ you'll see right here the NQ also testing the top end of its trading range here over the past week plus it has developed this range the upper end of that range has been very very clear resistance here that's about 44 uh, 14 280 and we're right there at the moment right now 270 and again if there is a failure to hold above the previous sessions high which is 12 242 that could open up a fade back into the range back down think this day right here after a big day up here the next day we were looking for a failed new high and a return back into the range that could still play out here today where it returns back into the range back toward 14k for example uh, but again we're keeping an eye on the previous sessions high and the top end of this range here can price get through 14 uh, 280 14 300 and open up a move higher or does it push back into the range so watching this edge right here all right taking a look now at crude oil you'll see with crude oil uh, a hard turn down here a big time push down back below the 105 as we mentioned be before 105 was very important and if it failed to hold 105 it could usher in another round of weakness likely back toward 95 96 and yesterday big time stop run day down now we have a small digestive hold day uh, again currently we're seeing a push to the downside uh, just like we saw here and here we have kind of this upper range here and you have a flat support so are we headed back to uh, the 93 94 95 zone you have yearly VWAP to date sitting right here at about 95s that could be an easy target up ahead right now crude oil is averaging five and a half points per day on a five and ten day split and we're at two points today two very narrow two point range 37 percent of ADR so we're seeing quite a bit of compression here in crude oil soon that compression could release some energy likely to the downside back toward that uh, composite VWAP all right let's take a look here at Bitcoin Bitcoin looking rather strong here since the rejection at the previous week's low. That has led to a big catapulting move back to the midpoint of the previous week, 41K. And then we also mentioned that we could be looking at further strength ahead toward the previous week's high. That is at 42.8. So we're almost there. Very, very close. It's been uh, a move that's been super bullish, very similar to the crude oil 60-minute move last week where it rejected the previous week's low and continued higher. This is very similar. Uh, again, we're coming into a point here at about 42,500 though, that could provide some overhead resistance after this significant drop. If we're gonna see more weakness, 
uh, that 42.5, 4300 could provide weakness that could push the price back into the range, maybe down to the previous low. Uh, but from a short-term perspective, this lower low rejection, that buy signal right there, very good. From a short-term perspective, we were looking for a one to five day move up, and then we'll see how price plays out at the 42,500 key pivot. Let's take a look here at ETH. Either futures also with a nice rejection recently here off that low. This also occurred off the previous month's midpoint and now catapulting higher again. Uh, this again signal good for one to five days to the upside but we'll be coming into a zone up here where it's going to be important to either push through that zone or we will likely see a rejection. And that zone is about right here at about the 3250 zone. It's kind of uh, right here at the top of this range. So basically these highs you bring it across. So we could see a bit more strength but if, if, if there's a failure in this area again you come back and trade w back within the range here and keep this upper structure intact. So that's about 32.63 right now. 32.64 if you want to round up a little bit. Uh, but that's a level that again we have a little bit more upside that could be in play and then we might begin to see a little bit of counter trend weakness here. So again we'll see how that uh, plays out once price approaches that zone. Alright that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck. Trade well and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.